Hi there, welcome to www.highschoolmaths.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at how to draw pie charts. So we're going to look at an example here where we've taken different genres of movies. So we've got action, horror, romance and comedy. Asked people, just a group of people, what their favourite was and we've got the results here. Okay, so what we're going to do is convert this information into useful data that we can put, uh, then construct a pie chart with. Um, key thing, pie chart is out, uh, always out of 360 degrees, so we've got to, when we calculate our angles for the pie charts, they should uh, add up to 360, that'll tell us that we've got everything right. Now, the first thing we've got to know is how many people took part in this survey. The easy way to do that is just to calculate, uh, just to add all the totals for the, the numbers we've got uh, for the numbers in the column, in the middle column here, which is sometimes called the frequency column. So, 10 add 3 is 13, add 2 is 15, add 15 is 30. So, for the total for this column is 30. So, we're talking about 30 people being asked. Now, for action, what we've got to do is we've got to figure out what, what fraction of people actually chose action. So, that would be 10 out of 30, which we could simplify to a third. But we're going to leave it as 10 out of 30 just to keep it nice and general. If it was non-calculator, we would look to simplify. Um, and then to, to convert that to, a, to an angle in a pie chart, we're going to multiply it by 360 degrees. So that would give us 120 degrees. Okay, and we're going to go through the same process for horror. But horror only had 3 out of 30 who picked horror. So we'll multiply that by 360. And that would be 36 degrees, so a smaller angle, as you would expect. Again, we could simplify that to the 3 over 30 would simplify to 1 tenth. And a tenth of 360 degrees would be 36 degrees. So if you were doing a non-calculator, this would be a perfect example for that. 2 out of 30 times 360. That would give you 24 degrees. And the last one, 15 out of 30 times 360. That gives you 180 degrees. Then when we add all these four angles up, it should give us 360 degrees because we should have all the information which should fill up the pie chart. And it does um, for this question. So we're now going to convert that information, uh, th those angles, and, and use them to draw our, our pie chart. So we're going to scroll down here and we've got a protractor and a pre-drawn circle. Now we've got the center point of the circle already drawn. Okay, so um, Oh, sorry. Uh, so we've got the center part of the circle already drawn. So looking at here, so I'm just scrolling down, converting these angles into the pie chart. So the action is 120 degrees. So we're going to start off, and what I would normally do is just draw a straight line straight up from the center of the uh, circle, center of the pie chart, straight up as my starting point. And that's quite a, a good general idea to to keep, keep each pie chart kind of consistent. You won't always see it done that way and it's not necessary, but it means you've always got that starting point. And what we want to do for the first one is we want to measure 120 degrees. So we're going to take our protractor and you can see with your center point of the protractor here, we line it up along the center of the circle where this um, kind of center point of the circle is and make sure the zero on our protractor is perfectly along the line. We're then going to take our pen or pencil and mark, go down to 120 degrees. So we're going around this, the protractor here and making a little mark at 120 degrees. Okay, and once I've made that little mark, I'm going to take my protractor away. You can see my mark's still there. And if you guys are doing it, you'll be using a ruler. But I'm just going to join it up using a straight line tool. Uh, bring that back in. So that looks to be 120 degrees there. And we label that section. So action. That was our action section. OK, you have to label each section with the relevant data from the table, not the angle. So you'll see some pie charts using the, the angle and um, if they want to give you that information. But when you're drawing your own pie chart, the important thing is that you've got the label for the correct section. So that was the action section. The next one, scroll up, is the horror. OK, so the horror section. Then what we've got to do again is we've got to take a protractor. So we're going to take a protractor over, line it over the center. OK, but this time the zero has got to line up with the previous line we finished at. So we're kind of Moving on, I'm going to spin it around until the zero lines up there. Just move it so it's perfectly in the center, and that looks pretty good to me. So you've got the zero there, uh, sorry, the the center point of the protractor here, and we've got the 
zero lined up along here. So we're going to take that and we're going to measure around, what was it? 36 degrees, as accurately as possible. So we're going to start from the zero, going to 36. That's around about, oh, sorry, I'm out of the picture here. So starting at the zero, going to 36, we're going around about to here, 36 degrees, put a little mark again. Okay, and then I'll move my protractor away. Okay, so that's my protractor gone. And I'm going to just use the straight line tool again. I think I was nearer the edge of this one, so I'm going to try and keep it as accurate as possible. And that was our section for horror. Okay, so we're going for the horror section there. So I'll label that as horror. And the next one, just in the same way, 24 degrees. So again, track on the center. It's really important that you get it as accurate as possible. Spin it around. So it let the zero lines up with the new line and measure 24 degrees. Okay, so 24 would be around about here. Okay, so we've got a wee mark and we're gonna move that away. Use a straight line tool, join that up. And it should be kind of roughly a perfect straight line down. Um, Lines maybe a degree or two out here, and you're allowed to be a degree or two out. That's just the error in measurement that does happen. So that's a 24 degree angle, um, and that's romance. I'm only going to fit ROM in there. The final one was 180 degrees, which is half of the semicircle. So that was comedy. And what you'll notice is what we're left over with is half of the half of the circle. So. Just to double check that, the line of track up in the middle. That's the whole 180 degrees. So that fills out the pie chart perfectly with no additional kind of spaces at the end, no gaps left over the last section. 180 degrees fits in perfectly. So that would be your pie chart, your completed pie chart using the information we had from the table. Pie charts are a lovely visible way of seeing what's the most what's the most popular, what's the least popular, and you can see that quite quickly. And you can even colour in your pie charts and make them really um, visual if you want. Now, that's how you draw pie charts. There are extra videos for how you use pie charts and how you can do calculations based on the information you've got in pie charts, which will be different um, every time. So if you found that useful, then please don't forget to go to the website www.highschoolmaths.co.uk for other maths videos and resources. And if you did like the video, click that like button and subscribe. And please remember and share the video. Thank you for watching and have a mathematical day.